Let me talk to you about a new LLC business credit card from a credit union. How to always get a high limit fair and score. Okay, so the situation is very simple. You have a new LLC and you're looking for a business credit card, not from a bank, but from a credit union. So I'll, I'm going to show you today how you can approve, you can get approved ASAP. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Story Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you ought to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or a tea or vodka. Now let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to talk to you about a new LC business credit card from a credit union. How to always get a high limit, fair and square, okay? We, we want you to have a high limit, boss, okay? Because I'm talking to you. So here are the steps, and I want you to really focus here. Your attention is, is needed. The first thing you need to do is to have a legit business. You have an LLC, okay? You have all the uh, characteristics of, of an LLC. Talk to me about that, boss. Cause, niece, I'm talking to you. Please, don't you really walk around and walk away from me. I want. Do you have state registration? Have you registered with your state? Talk to me about that, okay? Or do you have a certificate of good standing? You gotta have that. You can't be walking around telling people, you know, I have an LLC, I have whatever, whatever, and you have no certificate of good standing because state authorities have to actually vouch for you saying, hey, listen, this person, this lady or this guy has a legit business. You got to have that. You need to have a business bank account. Grandpa, grandma, do you have a business bank account? You know, you just walk around telling everybody, yeah, I have, an, I have an, a new LLC. Okay. But how far are you in establishing the uh, proper veneer for the, your for your LLC? Talk to me about that. You know, we got to be serious here. We can't be walking around and just playing games. Don't play games with me. Don't play games with yourself. Okay, you need to have a business bank account if you are looking for a new LLC business credit card from a credit union. You got to you got to use a registered service. You got to make sure that you have state tax registration. You want to you want to abide by state tax uh, rules, okay? In terms of uh, unemployment, in terms of uh, search, in terms of um, Medicare, you know, whatever whatever rules you have at the, uh, at the state level for taxes, make sure that you comply with those rules. Okay, what about payroll taxes? Are you actually uh, are you in sync with your state authorities and your federal authorities when it comes to payroll taxes? Talk to me about that. Okay, so we, we really don't have time to play around to play games here. If you're telling me that you have a new you are looking for a new LLC, make sure that you have a legit business. Big decision time, cause grandpa, nephew, niece, hey, 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 I'm talking to you. Big decision time. Is your business legit? Make sure that your business is legit. You want to establish a strong fulcrum, a strong foundation for your business before you move on to step two. Very important. <music> Step number two. So after you have a, after you have a, ascertained that you have a business, a legit business, do me a favor. I want you to to actually browse credit unions that you might qualify for. It's very important that you you need to have a clear idea of what credit union will work for you and that you will work for. In other words, there has to be a win win situation. This is really important. You know why? Because you want to you want to scale. You want to grow your LLC. You want to scale it over time. You need to have the right banking partner. You need to have the the right credit union partner. Okay. You can't be randomly choosing uh you know choosing willy willy nilly uh, a credit union. No, no. And the thing is, you don't want your ass to be to be denied also, right? So you got to be very strategic. That's the key word here. Strategic in choosing the credit union that you need and deserve. Okay. So when you choose credit unions, you got to think about geography. Where you at? Boss, talk to me. Where you at? Which states are you in right now? Okay. You want to start with that state and you want to see what kind of uh, credit unions you have in your area. Look, look into your biology because credit unions want you to qualify for membership through biology, through geography. Through profession also, what is your profession? Do you have a credit union that caters to your to your profession? Are you a nurse? Are you in the military? Okay, are you an engineer? Whatever you are, there is a credit union that caters to that caters to your your profession. Okay, and some credit unions will actually approve you based on religious affiliation. Everything is possible. That's what we love with credit credit unions. 
everything is possible boss so what one thing i want you to do right now is to be very clear about what kind of criterion you want to go for and go for it okay and so i and also one thing i want to ask you is because this is for you because uh, you've been talking to me about yeah you know i'm looking for credit unions whatever whatever be serious here are you looking for a national credit union or are you looking for an online credit union or are you looking for a regional state-based credit union so think about the geography that you want to you want to cover because if you want for if you want a national credit union you can go for navy fed or a pen fed as long as you have a family in the military okay or if you want something regional just look into your state and apply for a regional credit union it's all about you it's really about you i mean i'm not i'm not sitting here telling and you know the cool thing is they even have online credit unions so it doesn't matter where you are where you are at you can qualify for it for this uh for this uh, credit union membership so this is kind of cool Boss, the third thing I want you to do here. So we start here very methodically, okay? First, establish that you have a legit business. Number two, you want to search for credit unions. Number three, you need to select the credit union. So it's not about just doing research and just sitting there and just go back to your cash, being a cash a cash potato. No, 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 boss. You know, <laughs> there's a lot of work going on here. There's a lot of work. You know, we ain't playing. We're not playing. And I, I don't want you to play either. I want you to win. I want you to win. I want you to get that new LLC business credit card. No random game here. We are strategic, we are methodical, and we win. We are winners. Okay, I want you to be a winner. So select the credit union that actually uh, that actually fits your situation. I, I can't I can't really tell you which one is good for you because I have no idea in which sector your LLC is. I don't. Ha I have no idea about your personal financial situation. You know, the, there are. There is a constellation of criteria that go into uh, choosing the credit union, the credit union that works for you. Okay, but one thing for sure, if you are looking for a credit union and you or you want to have a strong long-term relationship with that credit union, it's really important, boss. It is really important to choose the credit union based on the financial services they offer, their savings rates, their lending, their lending rates, their business credit cards, their business loans, their business lines of credits. Okay, whether they are actually um, they have a deposit insurance. In other words, they are actually covered by the NCUA. This is kind of similar to the FDIC at the federal level. This is important because something happens. You know, at least your money is saved. Your money is safe. Okay, look look at the branch and ATM locations, membership fees, the monthly checking account fee, if any. Okay, and try to become an individual an individual member. How easy it is how complicated is it is okay and you need to actually check if the credit union provides business services because for this show we are only interested in the new LLC business credit card so if the credit union if the credit union doesn't have business services you're just wasting your time so you want to move on to, to the nearest to the next credit union okay and ask you know if uh, you want to become a business member and always it's always important that you call the, the, the toll free number to have more information before you apply. Okay. Don't just read whatever is available online and just apply. No, you want to uh, call. For example, if you take uh, PenFed, PenFed is uh, available to everybody in the United States. Okay. No military affiliation, affiliation is needed. However, they do not offer business services. So those are things you need to uh, ascertain before you apply for a membership. The fourth thing I want you to do is to establish a strong banking relationship. Oh yeah, niece, daughter, are you listening to me? I, I don't want you just to listen to me. I want you to take action, okay? You're just probably sitting there and just listening and just uh, being lethargic. I don't want that. I don't like that. I want you to get your ass up right now and start doing something, okay? Take notes. Whatever I'm telling you, I want you to take notes and do something. See, the thing is here. The thing here is that with this show, with the awesome Sweetie, Sweetie Kiwi show, we are active. We are doers. We're, we are winners. Okay. So establish a banking relationship. So once you have actually zero, zeroed in on the particular credit union you're looking for, go for it and become a member. Become also a business member. And once you do that, I want you to beef up your relationship. It doesn't happen overnight, okay? When I'm talking about relationship, it, it might take three to six months. Yeah, 
I'm talking to you about opening a checking account, a business checking account. That's the minimum. You want to also open a business savings account. You got to have two accounts. You know, I don't care if you're telling me, you know, I don't have no money. I ain't got no money. I ain't got no money. I have no money. I have no money. Whatever. Whatever. Are you in, you are, you are in business and you have no money? I mean, wh wh what's up with that? You you have a, a, a new LLC and you tell me you have no you have no money. I'm not asking you to have millions in the credit union, but I'm telling I'm telling you to have something, one thousand at least, two thousand. I mean, we're talking here about businesses, okay? So don't you talk to me about it. you don't have no money. You have money. You have money. You gotta have money to make money. That's what, that's that's what's up anyway, okay? So you want to start to actually have at least a checking account and a savings account. That's quite essential. That's important. Okay, and then if you have extra cash to park, you can also have a CDs, certificate of deposit. Okay, some uh, credit unions offer that, uh, provide that for businesses. They also provide money, market accounts. Okay, so it's really about having a relationship with them, not only at the business level, but also at the personal level. Everything is possible. When I'm telling, when I, anytime I talk to about, I talk to you about an NPR, a multi-product relationship, this can happen at the personal level or at the business level. Okay, if you want to open an IRA with them, open an IRA, individual retirement accounts. Okay, money, 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 money. I love the sound of money, don't you? Listen, so when we talk about money make sure that you park some of your cash with a credit union that you that you uh, have selected very important you got to be methodical but you have to do it number five cuz I'm still here grandpa grandma dad I'm talking to you mom are you here are you with me okay credit cards the thing here is that once you have selected the right credit union, you have established your relationship with them. You need to choose the kind of credit cards they have that actually will fit your new LLC. It's really important. You want to check the credit union business credit cards. It's important to you. You can't just uh, go ahead and just uh, and and start applying for a, a credit unions if they don't have the credit card you're looking for for your new LLC, right? There has to be synergy. There has to be har harmony. There has to be. Um, there has to be some kind of a method to what you're doing, right? In your planning. So let, I, I'm going to share with you a few uh, business credit cards from credit unions, okay? And uh, you can actually figure out what, what's good for you. So if we have, if we go to Navy Fed, the Navy Fed has a Navy Federal Credit Union has a Navy Federal Go Biz Rewards Visa Business Card. They also have this card on the Mastercard, uh, the Mastercard version of it. This is a great credit card. Okay, you you have a regular purchase APR that goes from ten sixty five percent to eighteen percent. This is kind of cool. This this card has no annual fee. You can earn one point per dollar spend and no cap on points earnable. This is really good. Okay, and uh, one thing that I love is that it is uh, an excellent option for smaller businesses that want to earn rewards for the kinds of purchases their companies make every day okay even if you are a new LLC you could qualify for you can qualify for this credit card if you do think if you apply properly and then I also want to share with you Connexus Connexus is another credit union that's very good okay they have uh, their business cash preferred card where you can reward your business and earn up to 3% cashback on eligible net business purchases they have their business card you can save on interest with an with uh, an extended low introductory rate. This is kind of cool. You also have a consumer's credit union, okay? And here they have their business Visa Platinum Rewards. This is a fantastic card that allows you that has no annual fee. You have additional cards that are available for employees at no cost. You have individualized credit limits available for additional cards. This is kind of cool. And uh, consumers also have their business Visa Platinum. That's kind of cool also. And this with this card, you or you have access to a constellation of benefits also. But it is the lower tier, the lower tier card, the lower tier business card for consumer credit union though. The one where the juice is at is the business visa platinum rewards. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. We are still having a conversation about new LC 
business credit cards from a credit union how do you get it how do you, how do you get it fast well most one thing i want you to do right now is to uh, number six i want you to check your fico score you might be thinking well you know there is no correlation between my fico score my personal fico score and my business credit card there is you know why because uh, first of all your business is new so when your business is new you cannot you cannot really do an ein only unless you have the proper application but it, it, it this is difficult okay so because of that the credit union will base their decision on your fico score now it depends on the credit the, depending on the credit union they pull different uh, bureaus okay for example navy fed will pull a trust union okay bcu will pull trans union also but other credit unions will actually uh, pull different credit the different um, credit scores one thing one thing that's important is that you need to know that your FICO score has a 35 percent payment history in other words payment history accounts for 35 percent amounts owed which is your credit utilization ratio accounts for 30 percent the length of credit history 15 percent your credit mix 10 percent and new credit mix new credit rather 10 percent so it's really important to be strategic here in terms of uh, applying for credit how often you apply for credit and how much you borrow and of course your payment history is also important so you want to review your credit reports okay and you also want to set up payment reminders what i'm talking to you here is that you want to review your FICO score right but you have to have a plan to make sure that you bump it up gradually and consistently okay and we're talking here about systematically you got to have a plan I don't like I don't want you to do something or to do things randomly okay we're not here for random stuff we are here to win we are here to actually get the business the, the new LLC business credit card that you want and deserve you just you got to have a plan okay you can't be just like you know you know I'm, I'm gonna do this and blah 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 no boy 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 no I want you to have a plan and I want you to stick to it that's what it is okay so to actually increase your FICO score over time you need to set up payment reminders you need to pay more than once in the billing cycle don't you just wait for for the little tiny as ten dollars they ask you minimum payment due and you just don't pay that one you have to pay more than that okay and uh you want to you want to contact your creditors if you have problems apply for credit sparing sparingly okay don't close unused credit card accounts this is important be careful paying off old debts okay and pay down max that cars first okay it's very important and always look out for balance transfer offers you never know let's be not the least boss i'm still talking to you and i just want you to really uh pay attention here you need to apply so the the application is actually because you've done all the research you you have all the info whatever but you have to apply okay and you, before you apply you need to actually determine which kind of cars you want okay what kind of credit cards are you, are you looking for are you looking for cash back points miles zero percent into that's where apr what are you looking for talk to me about that let's have a conversation about that okay so once you have you have a clear idea of what you're looking for you basically need to apply and you need to actually uh, do some kind of research about the business credit card options okay in terms of the, the uh, credit unions that you you have uh, selected so do a bit of uh, research about uh, the credit union itself okay look for you can watch shows like ours to find more reviews about the credit unions okay and look for the types of business credit cards they offer in terms of interest rates in terms of annual fees okay what about uh, the, the financial features of that credit card okay because many business credit card issuers whether they are from uh, credit unions or banks include account management tools okay and among the features may be the ability to download your card information into your accounting program this is those features are really cool so you want you want to make sure you have that and these features can make it easier to manage your finances okay and what are the criteria that uh, you will need to uh, submit before you get a business credit card well the business name okay the business address the business phone number the tax identification number we're talking about the EIN you got to have that the business type in this case this is LLC the industry the age of the business this is new okay revenue in this in your case it will be uh, current revenue and revenue projections or expectations expenses monthly and and or annual your personal credit score and your personal guarantee for some cases in some cases okay and uh, those are this is the basic you need and overall 
you need a business credit card for your new LLC because again, you're trying to establish business credit. That's number one. But you also want to segregate your business affairs, your business's affairs from your personal affairs. Very important. Okay. And uh, our recommendation is for you to apply at a branch. Just apply at a physical branch. Go to a brick and mortar branch and uh, have a set up. A, just have a, a rendezvous. Just have a, a schedule an appointment and just. Uh, they will talk to you about their requirements. You talk to them about what you have and somewhere in between you will find a, a consensus and you'll be approved. That's all you need. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was just talking to you about new LLC business credit card from a credit union. How to always get a high limit, fair and score. First, establish a legit business. Number two, look for credit unions around you. Select a credit union. Number four, establish a banking relationship with them. Number five, you want to check out the credit cards they have. Number six, you want to actually uh, check your FICO score and make sure it is, it is uh, continu continuously uh, high up. Okay, continu You want to continually improve your FICO score. And number seven, you want to apply. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. God, God bless you. I'll see you next time, but until then, remember, stay marvelous.